They're just having a bit of fun. Selena. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Quite the understatement, but yes. Let's not linger in this place any more than necessary. Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolute's work! State your business, now! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. you foreign types in the spider pit. But the Absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Well now, gonna have to be more specific than that. We're drowning in true souls, here we are. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? Well, look, Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragslin himself. Throne room's at the back. He's communing, mind, so step soft. Bloody racket. Oh, come on now. They're just having a bit of fun. Aye. Bother with my pigeon, he's mine. Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? from me mate. <laughs> Raids make a rabbit. Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Pigeons all yours. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite safe. A joy to see a familiar face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. I intend to do just that. A trusty invisibility potion goes a long way in a place like this. <laughs> We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Why, by design, my friend. How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? I dare say the experiment has proven most fruitful, too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. It's 
smashing. Soon, my friend, soon we can share the flagon of something liquid at the tail of Daring Do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. You recognize the Scourge. This man is a follower of Leviata, goddess of pain. Ah. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? I was invited to teach them some of my techniques. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas, these goblins seem to thrive on the crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I realize this looks... Strange, but I assure you, it is a most intimate form of worship. You see, pain is a loving thing. But trying to explain it to these goblins has proven. Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these... dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. As the Maiden of Pain, the Goddess Loviata teaches us, through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it. I promise. I wouldn't let his skilled hand anywhere near me. My, an eager student indeed. Those are advanced devotions. The mistress would approve. Indicate which instrument calls to you, and let us put it to work. Oh, I do believe we are both going to enjoy this. Both Loviata and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Yes, this will do nicely. <coughs> the pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it.
Your voice sounds so sweet, dear one. Keep going. Don't wear him out entirely, priest. I might have use for him yet. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. Technique, priest. Good wrist movement. Lots of enthusiasm. You are doing so well. Do not give in now. Yes, you can, child. Take the pain and offer it up to Loviata. Offer it all. Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. Interesting is an understatement, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. Personal note. Thank you. That was positively divine. Well, whatever you're into. <sighs> that was not what I expected to see today. You know, but no, you gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please stop. Ah, oh, here to see your friend, have you? Come and join him if you like. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. No, no, why won't he speak? The drow's gonna kill me if I can't make him talk. Finish him! Bah! Take him! Won't do you any good. He just... screams. <sighs> Should have sent him to Moonrise with the rest, for all the good he's been. I wanna watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. <laughs> oh yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner! Oh, forget about him. There'll be more of Please, please, let me out. There's no reason for this. We... I was with a group of adventurers. We came here for an artifact. 
It's called the Night Song. We tried to sneak past the goblins, but they, they ambushed us. I didn't think a pack of goblins could be so... <laughs> so efficient. I don't know. The boss didn't say. He just said some wizard called Laroacan would reward us if we found it. It should be here somewhere. He said there was a hidden passage underneath the temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned. When we arrived... I'm not sure. All I know is there's a passageway to the night song. Brian had instructions, but... The goblins got him. They... They said they'd eat him. Please, please. These shackles. I... I don't want to die. Helsin. I... I don't know. He, he, he changed into a bear. But... I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. That's all I know. P please. Get me out of here. Thank you. Thank you so much. The lock clicks and opens. Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. The, the grove to the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No, they'll, they'll kill everyone. Please, I need to warn them. So, for your absolute looking out for to the of your lion. That the jingle of coin, I hear? You've timed it well, my friend. Already turned quite the profit today, so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Half right, sharp eyes. A Zen is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you?
quieter, if you please. This crowd just burned that into the ground, you might recall. But good. That means Zaris and her little operation weren't found. Seems you're a friend of the family. That warrants a discount. A small one. Looking out for me now. I ain't never felt so strong. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. A pleasure. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That... that can't be. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers, unless... That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? Oh, ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh! Dear sweet gods! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted.
Well met. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. And just when things... to put my hands on everything. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Watch the shadows. Almost in her name. Elminster's not around, so it might as well.
the family friend. Need something? Till next time. Obey the drow, serve the absolute, and you absolute looking out for me now. Direct me. Well, hello. No time to rest. Keep your distance, darling. Let me work my magic. No time to waste. You have my attention. Something's on my mind. Careful, I mind. All right. What now? Yes. Darling, I'm hurt. I guess I'll... It sounds... Very well. Always at your side. What are you thinking about?
haven't stopped me yet. Give up now. A long way from Waterdeep. With haste. Curiosity must be satisfied. Yes, of course. Seems like a good moment to talk. Ah, the family friend. Need something? Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. Till next time. Another outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit.
I'm just saying. Those are... Again? Do you want to become spider food? Heading to see our new pet. It didn't seem easy, I'll give it that. Don't do anything weird. Seen this mess? Flaming Fist Thuggo took a chunk out me arm last raid out. Fiercest thing about him was the wailing. Till we put an end to it. Ain't none can stand against us now. Not with the Absolute in our corner. What are they delaying for? Watch a step down by the pens. Wargy's been getting fat on your kind lately. Here we go. Hands off. This one's for the pups. Lucky. Steal something. Or, or at the bollocks, will ya? I'm itching to throw someone in the brick. It'll be fun. I promise. See? It squealed! <laughs> Keep your hands steady, three. Stop them! Free me! Again! Again! Make it squeal again! We're juicing it up! The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too! Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. about it. Never seen someone so worked up over a stupid animal. But, but I want to hear him squeal. We'll be the ones squealing if we piss off the bear hugger. Hope you can control the furry bastard. Good. Now they die. Time for blood.
Got it. I speak, they burn. You've made a grave mistake. <laughs> time.
Slow down. to break. What fools these mortals be. Viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. Not only do you speak with a bear, but you free it too? 
<laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. I'm becoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Parasites in your head that... You mean you have one of them? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Hmm... That looks very alien. As alien as the Mind Flayers. They do not belong on this world. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the Drow Minthara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here.
There goes nothing. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Seems the tunnel collapsed mid dig and suffocated him. A crooked heart is embroidered on his left shoe. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. regards you lifelessly. Digging too quickly. Felt tunnel collapsing. Kept going better dead than warg meat. Gorbans took my friends. Cut them up. For the walks, for me. My son Garland did it. If I ever missed him, could look down and remember him. Heading to Baldur's Gate. Didn't hear Goblin Patrol. Taglin, Carpenter, father of two. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Still blocked. Should be easy enough to clear. Still blocked, but should be easy enough to clear. Nothing. Maybe I need more pockets. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. The world swims as you close, then reopen your eyes. How long have you been waiting here? A moment? A night? A ten day? Chukilgate vlaketh mazathok! Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. I 
cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I came just in time. You are transforming. Yes. You have. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a Mind Flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing, for now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. feel better, I promise.